Hey guys, what's up? It's Dusty here, back with another crypto video. And today, I want to start the video out by actually picking a giveaway winner, and that is going to be that Apple guy. He says, when will you be doing your other channel, Dusty Social? I like your finance channel too. Well, that's very nice for you to say, guy. Uh, I'll comment under your original comment to, to say that you've won for if you've not watched this video, but you have won yourself some $50. So guys, today we're going to be talking about Ripple and XRP, and I'm pretty excited as there are quite a lot of really important things to show you guys, but also make sure you press the like button on this video right now. Make sure you comment something down below because on the previous video, this one right here, we hit 400 likes within 24 hours. That's why we give away 50 bucks to that Apple guy, but if we hit another 400 likes on this video so just 400 likes within 24 hours we're giving away another 50 dollars in the next xrp video it's going to be exactly the same way we just go to a random youtube comment picker we pick a commenter that one wins 50 dollars and we can either do two times 25 five times 10 i don't give a i don't give anything you guys choose whatever you want you can share it with people if you want to it's all pretty cool but guys let's get into some news for today so first of all wally here said on twitter we started executing trades earlier this week. We are literally setting, selling currencies in seconds. Trading FX happens at internet speed. Selling FX doesn't, but it can. FX trades doesn't, but it can. It's actually a retweet from Emi Yoshikawa from Ripple because she said, MoneyGram places big cross-border bet on Ripple. And Eric Dedun replied by saying, it can, and it's starting to. Great work. And then he has a tweet attached from Teno Tenitoshi, which says, since the partnership with MoneyGram, the XRP market in Bitso, of course from Mexico, has been steadily growing. This implies the increase in its rapid payment volume. It will also attract more market makers to the market and let them buy XRP. And yes, if you look at the liquidity index down below here, XRP to Mexican, um, I thought they used Mexican pesos, whatever. I don't, you know, I'm not too good with these abbreviations with everything. It's trading volume for the Mexican money. But yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting um, here the partnership with MoneyGram came in and look at it right now. Over this short period of time here, it has grown immensely, right? At least that's how I'm viewing it here. Um, this is most likely where it was announced a little bit and this is where really the fruits are are showing because there's a very big difference in in this right here, guys. It's, it's insane. But that is also something that I want to keep reminding people of is that we're just at an infancy stage for Ripple and for XRP, right? How I'm seeing it, this is all just the beginning, and if we compare to any other year, any other cryptocurrency bull run, if we compare to any other cryptocurrency out there, any other company out there, they're just so different in every single sense that you just cannot compare it with anything. And really, for this to look as amazing as it is right now, it's just so great. And another thing, um, I made a video earlier today explaining why Ripple and XRP could have a lot to do with the Federal Reserve, but Dilla Brow here is actually making it even even wow even better he says or he Dil Prow is engaging central banks and market infrastructure to transform global transactions banking with ripple one country at a time views on my own but he says on twitter um as a reply to the fed payments improvement which just announced the federal reserve banks are developing a new interbank 24 7 365 real tone gross clearing and settlement service to support faster payments in the u.s he said as a reply great move Hashtag FedNow will drive the transformation to real-time payments infrastructure around the world, both domestic and cross-border. Ripple mission, internet of value. So again, it is kind of looking here like more and more so like um, there's a partnership between the Federal Reserve and Ripple going on. We can't tell for certain though as there's a lot of other companies that are looking like they could fit as well. But just from the replies, just from what the the woman said in her speech it's all looking a lot like ripple so i'm not counting it out again that all combined here already is just why i think ripple is going to be insane and we're not only talking about ripple but also about xrp because yes they're going to be dragging that along so one thing i should be mentioning is what jack the rippler um rippler or ripple xr pi said on twitter he says xp reached three dollars 80 based on nothing banks and financial institutions will use xrp now imagine what the price will be in a few months. Have a nice day. This might sound to you like a very dumb tweet. Like, like yeah, it, it reached $3.80, but it doesn't mean it will ever get there again. You're completely right. It does not mean that the price will ever get there again. But the basic knowledge that you have to have in the back of your head is that if any 
asset, even security, just think about anything you can hold. If any asset can become worth a lot just because people have said something about it and it has not shown anything, you know, you're holding a piece of metal. People are saying like, oh, that might be very valuable. You know, we have no idea what it does, but it might be very valuable, right? And it already goes up in price. But now you really see that it is very valuable and you really start to see that a lot of people want this. A lot of people are using it already and it's just insanely good. It's crazy how I'm just so focused on this gift, by the way. I'm getting like hypnotized in. Let me quickly switch over. It's crazy how people can attach so much value to just the words and then not believe that it can now be overtaken like many times as strongly. So like times two as big as it was back then. I definitely think those things are possible just because of what we've been seeing. We've been seeing that Ripple is going in a very fast pace, moving XRP everywhere at least that's what they're trying to do really pushing them out there and they're doing a very good job at it at least that's what we're seeing they're doing a very good job at it if the xp price could already get that high just because of some speculation just because of some hype just because of white paper and some ideas just imagine in a couple of months you know after swell after we see a lot of these partnerships after we have already seen what moneygram has been doing after we already know there could even be federal partnerships on this high of a level and even if it's not going to be real we just know that there is potential for a federal partnership like this and that's just already something in the back of your head to be completely amazed about how can it then not be a way bigger run the next time that we do get the opportunity that's just something that is in the back of my head a lot of people speculated and said if the partnership with the federal reserve was with ripple the xp price would have already skyrocketed and i actually don't agree with that now i'm thinking here she did not name anything and also if that were to be the case Right, if it were to be that the Federal Reserve um, actually wants to adopt Ripple, for one, it's not going to instantly increase the XP price as there's not that many people that know. Right, it could also be that many of the big players um, that do have access to this information that are actually uh, you know illegally trading it already because they know something that we don't are are buying into it heavily, but we don't know because I mean there's a lot of volume in this coin, one billion dollars a day, and it's not like it's really out there. It's not like it's going to be something that happens overnight. So they could also be buying in a very big amount of layers. Maybe they have a very big strategy for buying XRP. On the contrary, though, they most likely see no good reason to buy XRP. It's just personal investors who are buying the coin maybe to, to reap the benefits. But again, I don't see any correlation between um, the Fed using Ripple and the price of XP skyrocketing just now because it has not been publicly announced that they will use it. There's just some theories, just some ideas, and they're plausible, but nothing is just quite secure. Attention. I'll be doing another XP giveaway is what some of these guys said. Han Solo replied by saying, XP will be free in 3, 2, 1. And he has a rocket and a, you know, XP rocket and a, a, a cowboy or something attached to it. Because really, what we're investing into, and again, that might sound crazy to you, what we're investing into is really the future of digital payments. We're really betting on the fact that Ripple and XRP are going to take the financial system like we know right now, crush it, and establish a new one. Again, I'm not saying they're going to crush fiat currencies. They're going to make a whole new layer in that. But I'm just saying they're going to crush the financial system like we know now, renew it with better technology. And yes, it would definitely skyrocket everything then because, I mean, look at what they're creating they're creating a lot of value xp news underscore says on twitter yoshitaka kitao because xp is already beginning to become international xrp will be used for fund transfers in 2019 by increasing the so-called xrp's plastic use we anticipate that the ripple market cap will easily exceed the market cap of bitcoin um it's very positive for him to say such a thing he is also in a position for it to be profitable for him to say such a thing that's also it but on a side note, it's, and again, he, he says here, he didn't say that though. He's hyping. Did he actually say it? Hmm, I don't completely know if he did say it, but it doesn't matter for the whole point. Um, since again, he has a lot of involvement with Ripple, with XRP, and he has the best benefit for it to become that price. But something that is quite interesting to talk about is, again, how market cap really works. Will XRP actually ever overtake Bitcoin in terms of market cap? And do we really want that? Do we need that? Now, could it happen? Plain up, yes. It can happen, and if the conditions are right, which we've covered a couple of times, but we don't know all the conditions yet, if they're all right, it will occur. Do we need it? Do we really need XRP to become the number one currency in the market cap? 
I don't think so. There's literally no good reason why they have to be number one. Again, a lot of hype boys will say, yeah, so they're number one to show the people that they're best. It's not always the one that's the number one is really the best. In this case, XP might be a lot better, but it's just not bought into as much as a lot of these other coin, uh, uh, as Bitcoin. Just because I think Bitcoin is more of a store of value rather than XRP. And literally in a store of value is where you store your value, which will naturally have a higher market cap, right? That's something that's quite in a, intuitive to me. Sounds really logical in the back of my head. XRP is used for transfers, just to hold for a couple of seconds really quickly. And we, as early adopters, are just trying to accumulate a lot for it to appreciate in price because that's better for those payments later on. And also just to have some already to make your transfers even simpler, possibly. With Bitcoin, I see it as a store of value. People are buying this coin because it has a lot of value. And it's just like gold. And speaking about gold, there's actually a lot of debates about Bitcoin being better or gold being better as a store of value. And Peter Schiff actually also placed something about that on Twitter. He said, CNBC is trying its best to dupe its audience into buying Bitcoin. Despite gold being much larger market, CNBC devotes far more airtime to Bitcoin. The Chinese aren't buying Bitcoin as a safe haven. Speculators are buying betting that the Chinese will buy it as a safe haven. Again, it, it's a very interesting opinion, but if you've already checked it out on your right here, Peter Schiff, CEO, Euro Pacific Capital. That's one kind of orange flag, but then chairman, Shivgold.com. That's where the major red flag hit me like, oh, this guy is a, probably a good gold holder or has a big benefit for gold becoming very popular or gold doing very good. And of course, he's then not going to be vouching for any digital asset or cryptocurrency because that hurts him, most likely. Again, he's a gold bug, is what people have been calling him for a longer while. He's very popular, by the way, but I just thought it would be easiest to show you guys that you know, Shift Gold here it has gold in the name, so it's pretty <laughs> clear as well that he's involved with that. So he will always be hating on, on the currency, but yet again, there will always be haters on anything. When XP Moons, I want one of these. Hey. If you get one of those, make sure you get me one as well because that looks amazing. You just ride through the through the sky on your your whatever whatever it's called, your, your airboard. Yeah, the French military is interested in the technology. There was like on the news there was one of the the guys, um, this guy that you see flying here. He wants to fly from France to England, I think, or something like that. But he had to refuse somewhere and it went wrong. But it was just a very cool uh, project. But somewhere along. Yeah, it went wrong somewhere, but somewhere in the video, you can see his kid talking about it as well. And you can see the guy talking about his flying experience, but it's just really amazing if you see it, guys. Like, to just be flying like that on your own, it's just kind of amazing, right? It's really, really crazy to be flying like that. But yeah, again, if you have enough XRP and if it moons, you'll be able to afford you one maybe in the future. XRP feels suppressed as something, right? By Dutch underscore XRP. It's interesting because I can understand why it feels that way. Even if we go back to some of the theories of the Federal Reserve being really involved with Ripple, it could also be that the whole bigger plan is to really push down the price of XRP for just now. Bitcoin just had some crazy insane gains over the week here, but XRP is riding like a roller coaster. There might be something bigger involved here, we just don't know, so we cannot speculate upon it. And Tim XRP said on Twitter, What is happening, XRP? Levels are off the charts at Galgatron. And you can see, if I had to wager a guess, MoneyGram is testing up 4%, and a lot of people are speculating. Uh, again, it could be MoneyGram, Bitso, it could be a lot of different things, and it's just really been insane what's going on here. Look at that, guys. That's way more than normal. That's uh, yeah, that's a lot more than normal. A lot, of, a lot of stuff being traded right now. Let's see here on the left. Binance, 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 Binance. Yeah, again, I don't actually check it too often to see what exactly it is on a normal basis, but we can clearly see that this is... Uh, more than there is on a you know, day to day day basis, but still, it's all pretty cool, guys. I'm still really positive on XRP in every single aspect. Again, if I had to put my money on one of the coins to to give me the best risk to reward ratio, I would go for XRP. Again, the risk is higher than BTC, but the reward is also way higher. Why I'm saying the risk is higher is because BTC is a store of value, so people will always attach at least some value to it, unless some major 51% attack or anything like that happens. With XRP, we really are quite dependent on the success for it being a um, sort of settlement coin of really being a remittance worker, so to speak. And if Ripple fails to do anything of that, or if Ripple fails to kind of scale, it will hurt XRP. And again, that's where the risk comes in, which is significantly higher with XRP. But on the contrary, the reward, again, if we only go to all-time high, 
it's 91% for XRP or 92 and only 42% for BTC, meaning you got some crazy more gains to come uh, by going for XRP rather than BTC. But hey, you can do whatever you guys want. Guys, that was it for this video. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed. Make sure you press the like button on this video if you did. Make sure you leave a comment down below. And also, make sure you check out my second channel called Dusty Finance. I have a lot of cool videos on here, so make sure you go ahead and check it out. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody, and have a very nice day.